What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Matt Big Body Cole, man. And this shit right here. What's up, man? It's a Big Body production, man. I want to give a shout out to my man, W2. You know who you are since I'm running out of contact. You, you always will be my nigga, but boy, you talk you some shit, man. You talk you some good shit, W2. I ain't going to say your real name and throw it out there, man, because I know how you are about that YouTube shit. So, But we know who I'm talking about. Um... Shout out to my man Leon Jones in the 411 Talk Zone Radio. You can check his channel out on YouTube. Check him out on Block Talk on <clears throat> on Mondays. Check out my man Q Wilson with the um, the Q Wilson Uber effect on YouTube. Check him out, Q Wilson, professional Uber driver. What can I tell you, man? He's doing his thing, man. Getting ready to go to culinary school and and and, and you know do the baked goods and all that all that goodness, man. My man went from a truck driver to an Uber driver, now to a chef, man. He's just, just doing his thing, man. I ain't mad at him, man. He's young. He's making money. He's married. Congratulations with the kid on the way. And, and all that goodness, man. Um, shout out to my man, B-Hack. For y'all who don't know, I got a, a, a homeboy of mine named Benjamin Hack who runs a tax service. He's a professional. So if you need your taxes done during tax season, he has um, set... Oh, shit. This motherfucking truck... He has um, his set rates and services. If you need to get a hold of him, you can gladly contact me at 856-507-3604, and I can I can link you in that way, you know, because I don't know if he wants me to put his personal number out there. I don't have his actual business number. I have his actual phone number to, like, call him on the hip. But um, he got his taxes going on right now, his tax service for y'all that are trying to get y'all taxes in motion. Um, he don't do the bullshit, so I'm let y'all know right now for y'all that's trying to do the fancy shit with the earned income tax credit thing, and, and y'all, you know, you know what I'm talking about the motherfuckers that be selling kit. He's not going to jeopardize his business for some nigga shit. So if you can, out of respect, if you if you're correct, come correct. If not, keep it pushing. Um, I also want to get on. Um, shout out to my cousin Sean Waters, man. Amazon driver, man. His family right there, man. I had to talk with him this morning. We built on some things, and I, uh, you know, I'm gonna throw some stuff out there. Uh, shout out to my nephew, uh, Navon, my little niece, Tina, my brother, Macho, Solo Macho, <laughs> you big, you big bitch. <laughs> What's up, nigga? But, uh, hey, man. You know, I, I find it funny, man. I'm gonna get right into this, man. I'm gonna get right into this. I find it funny how. Our country is just so fucked up. And then when a motherfucker like me says, I strongly agree with some of the things Trump's doing, like this ban and trying to, you know, push motherfuckers out of the country that ain't right. You know what, man? I'm going to let this man rock and do what he do. I'm going to see what the outcome of it is. Because honestly, it's like this, man. They come over here. We, 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 we fuck around They ain't gotta pay taxes They got their own little businesses Going on and shit And even some of these motherfuckers treat us Like shit like You got these African motherfuckers from over Africa That don't fuck with Motherfuckers like me I'm a nigger to them I'm like oh motherfucker You motherfucking booty scratching ass Bush, bush hopping motherfucker You got the nerve to tell me Fuck me no, fuck you, punk bitch. But anyway, now you got the Africans that really don't fuck with us. And then you got them ignorant ass motherfucking Chinese. Hurry up and buy motherfuckers. You know, they, oh, they all for your money. They don't give a fuck about you. And honestly, I'm going to be real with y'all with these Chinese people. They killing us through the, through the Chinese food, y'all. They got to leave the Chinese food alone, man. The Chinese food ain't so Chinese. I'm just letting y'all know, man. I, look. I, I've been delivering freight. I've been delivering food. I've been doing delivery with trucks for some years now. There's a lot of shit that goes on in them kitchens that y'all not aware of. There's a lot of shit that goes on on the truck before it even gets to the kitchen that you're not aware of. So you be careful. In the words of Bernard Hopkins, professional retired boxer, be careful what you put in your body, man. And I got some nerve to be talking with a double chin, but... I, lately, I've been really watching what I put in my body, man. I'm more serious now because I'm getting older and I got a child on the way. I'm trying to be around for this. Um, 
But I just find it fucked up how they come over here and get right. And our country actually helps them get on their feet. But when we uh, when we go over there, we can't really get the same benefit when we go over to their country. Then it's also like this. We, America's people, we're on this soil first. I mean, why can't we get the same advantages and benefits like these foreigners do when they come over here, man? Why? Why not, man? This is something I really want somebody to touch on, comment, like, subscribe, share. I mean, I'm hoping my man Leon jumps on this for real, for real, because I know he touches on shit like this tickles his gray hairs, man. But, uh, for real, for real, man. We got poverty in America, but you got billion dollar corporations out here just fucking making a living off of pharmaceuticals and. And 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 if there's different shit out here, like like this, let's go for the pharmaceutical shit, for instance, man. Let's be for real, and I mean, let's be clear, and let's be crystal clear. The best medicine on the face of this earth is the herbs, is the shit from the ground, the medicines from the grounds itself. Not all that pill shit, that shit that just sedates you and keeps you alive to your next to your next dosage. Nah, fuck that, man. I honestly believe medications is made here just to carry you over until it's time to take the next pill. Once you don't take the next pill, you start deteriorating and falling apart, man. Prime example, chemotherapy. Go through a radiation treatment. Come on, man. You're putting radiation in your fucking body to try to cure yourself or kill cancer cells. Radiation. Something that's used, something that has a warning label on it and that's used to eliminate shit in a very nasty fine fashion you, you, why do you think people get sick throw up and lose their hair and shit let me tell you something if I ever get cancer I'm gonna try to do the most natural herbal remedy ever before I have to resort to some fucking chemotherapy you, like I said it all comes down to what you put in your body too man it comes down to that shit man if you ain't careful with your body your body will take a shit on you but uh look at here man like I said, to my man W2, I ain't got no content. I'm just on this motherfucker talking, so I want to go to my next video. Oh, shit, okay. Hold on. Sorry about that, yo. My phone was ringing. My phone was clicking. But uh, I'm going to go to my next video, and I'm going to do it again. Since I'm running out of content, my man W2. You, you know what, though? I gotta give it to you, Dove. You inspired me to keep it moving because you definitely got my big ass back in the truck game. So I just want to give you a thank you, bro. And I mean that shit, man. Like, not even on some, on some, um, trying to, you know, take shot at you type shit, man. On a positive note, I appreciate it. it, it it's like I said, it's certain things that you're doing, your character of who you are, you have leadership quality with you, man. And this is all I was trying to tell you in the past with the other stuff, man. It's just certain things you do. This is why I got the amount of respect that I got for you as a person because you don't know the impact that you possess or even push off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ain't no cars coming. Um, When you act out, man. But look at here, man. I'm going to get up out of here and get to this next video. Uh, It's your boy, Matt Big Body Cole. And this shit right here is a Big Body production. And it's Big Body Trucking. I'm just not in the work truck right now. I'm in the Yukon, y'all. Uh, oh, yeah. Later, y'all.